spectrum technology is all about using the color that exists in the X-ray photons that arrive to the patient and flow through the patient and uh, turning them into color information. Different energies of X-ray pass differently through the body. The engineers or the physicists that started this uh, uh, idea didn't think from the clinical perspective or the workload perspective. They were thinking about, okay, how can we get to sets of images of low energy and high energy and combine them and get the spectral data and they did it with, uh, um, with two detectors, one above the other. Professor Jacob Sosna is chairman of radiology at Hadassah University Medical Center in Jerusalem. When his interest in spectral technology caught the eye of the Philips team, a collaboration was born. Once I got in and we put in the clinical aspect of the workflow and how it can be done, we got the collaboration between the engineering, physics and medicine and radiology to combine efforts and understand really what's going on. Professor Sosna has been involved in the spectral domain for many years already. He's very enthusiastic about it. We aim very high, so we need this kind of visionary people uh, helping us with getting there. We have learned that the workflow is vital and very important to the, to the users. And the workflow starts from the moment you plan to scan the patients. And I would say it ends when you finish interpreting the results. We are trying very, very hard to hide the complexity. We would like to provide a tool that is simple to use, very intuitive, with minimal clicks, because also the throughput is something very important. Once you have the data recorded in our system, you can view that incidental finding in retrospect. And I think this is where the idea of uh, spectral on demand came from, that you only get it when you need it. The spectral viewer currently is the way to fuse several layers of information, one on top of the other. Uh, it could be used to fuse uh, an iodine map on top of a, a conventional image, a standard image, or on top of a monoenergetic image. We have an energy slider that allows the user to slide the different energy levels. It, it can go from uh, 40 kV to 200 kV by sliding the different energies. In addition, we have the magic glass. The magic glass allows the users to view the same region in several different spectral maps. You can see color maps, color spectral imaging. You can see material separation. The scatter plot is basically a way to show the different composition of a tissue. Whenever we come to work and the team comes to work, they know that they are coming here to make a difference. Phillips set up to say, we want to influence the life of three billion people by 2020. And we are doing it. This is what we are doing actually in the lab downstairs, um, trying to benefit people's lives, trying to make medical imaging better. <laughs>